It's a typical Sunday Mass for these worshippers, but they may soon notice some changes in the way they receive communion. Instead of the weekly bread and wine, the wine may be withheld for special occasions. I think it'll help Catholics be more joyful when they do get to celebrate receiving Holy Communion under both forms. But not everyone is so joyful to see the change. It reverts to the way Mass was done before the 1970s, when the distribution of wine was not approved in the United States. This is one of several policies or rules that seem to be going the other direction, and it's disappointing. For many Catholics, they say taking communion every week connects them to Jesus through his body and blood. But Father John Muir at Tempe's Newman Center says the full experience can happen with the bread alone. And we believe that nothing more is received if a Catholic receives under both. Looking historically at the sacrifice of Jesus, um, all references are to body and blood, eating the bread and drinking the cup. The Phoenix Diocese is the only chapter in the U.S that plans on making this change. Phoenix Bishop Thomas Olmsted wants to align his communion policy with parishes worldwide. Here at St. Mary's Basilica, Megan Brownell hopes the tradition of full communion will continue every Sunday. Father Vince does believe um, that having it available every Sunday is a special part of our Mass and it's a special part of our culture here at St. Mary's. For now, services will continue while parishes wait for the bishop's final word. In Phoenix, Alyssa Deach, Cronkite News.